This is an example of a good face mask. If you have a look around it, we can see that there's no separation of the layers. Looking all the way around it, can't see any voids. When you look around the headband, the part that's going to be actually on the operator's head, you can see there's no roughness. And there's no stringing. Additionally, in this area here, there's no, no voids. This is an example of one that's not quite so good. If you notice in here, we've got voids in here. There's voids in here as well. Anything that breaks the surface is a failure because when they get washed, the fluid can get inside and can't get out. It's only failure is the void. This particular one is a bit of a strange one. All the prints by this uh, by this person had this same fault on it. I have no idea what caused this fault. I suspect it's something to do with the slicing because every single print had the same problem and this creates an entrance into the inner structure. If you actually squeeze it hard enough, you can actually get it to open up and go into the inner structure. You can see the inner structure. And also, along the top, you can see the voids going into the inner structure. Again, this is a reason for failure because we can't allow anything to get inside the mask. And there's also problem here with stringing, not stringing, but layering, it hasn't, uh, it hasn't adhered properly. So this, this one here has got a very strange layering effect, very rough. It's, it's going to be rough on the individual's head as well because, let me just try and keep the focus on it. This would be against the uh, the wearer's head, and this would be very rough. Now, additionally, there's a problem with this one in the sense that it's about 18 millimeters on this side, the height of the arm, and on this side, it's about 13 millimeters. And you notice that the Prusa is stretched. So something's happened here. I've now I don't know what the answer is. I think the possibility could be a stretched belt or something like that, or um, bed misalignment. But I'm no expert. I don't know the answer. Perhaps somebody can help with this one. But it certainly is flexible enough. That's the sort of flexibility we would, we should be expecting. Another problem we sometimes come across is a lack of adhesion between the layers. This particular one, it took no force at all for this to happen. It was basically, well, as soon as you picked it up, this is what happened to it. It just disintegrated in your fingers. This is another one. It's all stringy, needs, uh, needs cleaning up. But when you, you try twisting it, you can hear it. See, if I put too much pressure on that, it's just going to snap. And if you look here, oh, if we can get a focus in. Okay, I'm on focus. As I'm doing that, you can actually see the layers separating. Shouldn't be making any noise when I'm squeezing it like that. That's because the layers haven't stuck together, I believe. But I'm not, I'm, as I say, I'm no expert at this. 
just just going back to this one that failed because of voids because of these voids if you I look at my glamorous assistant bending and twisting it you won't hear any any noises from it at all that's how it should be if it wasn't for the voids this one would be perfect 